This is the nightly business report. Wow, that's Thursday evening, March 12th, 1992. Good evening, my young people. What's happening? Executives are seeing signs that the sluggish economy is at last turning the corner. Nearly half of the 490 business executives surveyed in the poll see some Lincolns of improvement. This garnered optimism appears to be a recent sentiment. Retail sales surged 1.3% in February, then grew 2.1% in January, far higher than the first estimated. The Commerce Department said the report showed that the first black tobacco gains exceeded 1% in 1985. The Senate struggled to clear obstacles to pass an election year tax bill after an expected difficulty in the killing in a bipartisan attempt to strip the $300 tax credit for children. Yeah. The FCC more than doubled in the number of radio stations that a single company may own and allow. A single owner would have as many as three AM and three FM stations in a single city. First time claims for unemployment benefits rose to the highest level in more than a month. Criminal sanctions for promoters of phony group health schemes are urged by a Senate panel. One of the oldest ideas in social policy is getting chalked up as a new solution, the Works Progress Administration. Silicon Graphics said it was buying MIPS computer systems and a stock swap failed at about $406 million. The manager will unite two of the Silicon Valley's leading electronics companies to create an enterprise with revenues approaching $1 billion. To get the safe IBM has quietly invited Sun Microsystems to join its alliance with Apple. The alliance intelligent aims at to set its course to the desktop computer industry. General Jones and Bell South said they plan to test market and information service that is an unusual burn since such services are pitching publishers against telephone companies. Ford will offer one price to Hagelin on the Escort LX in a marketing program that is expanded nationwide. The price of strategy has increased sales in a regional test. Dayton Hudson reported sharply lower quarterly earnings and that Results reflected weak Christmas sales, stiff competition, and a recessionary economy in California. Black & Decker said it planned to sell 18 million common shares as well as stock in its information services unit. Paramount Communications executives have held discussions with George Steinberg about buying the Yankees. Paramount found made by Shabby a filter subsidiary is a far higher failure rate than any of her previously believed, the FDA said. Cat accused the United States of practicing on a greater level of protectionism for measures aimed at Halton reports would, and imports. Uh, oh. Blue chip stocks sell steady, but prices slipped on a barter market. The Dow ended precisely where it began, 3,208.63. Like Yields on long-term uh, treasury bonds rise above 8% for the first time since early in November. The dollar rallied after the release of better-than-expected consumer spending figures. So gold futures snapped. Oh. Or gold futures snapped. Ooh. Bush is struggling to get out of a crossfire. Nixon urgent support for Russian democracy, and Buchanan insisted on putting American first. The Chicago Board of Trading is trying to revive the idea of electronic trading and government securities. McCaffrey and McCall will complete an overall top manager by importing New York Control President and Chief Operating Officer from Leo Burnett. Sox Dad Jones closed at 328.63 and change. Dow 134 and a quarter yen, up 85 yen. Oil 1883, up 33 cents, and bonds 8.03%, up 4.18%. Really? That's going to be the announcement of the podcast, March 12, 1992, on a Thursday. Peter said goodnight, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodnight.